first you are going to click on new schematic the clipper circuit is shown here we need a voltage source press on component voltage okay resistor to rotate the resistor press on control r then a diode and a battery connect all the components Add the ground the value of the source is V1 equal 5 sine omega t okay the source is an AC source to edit the source we press on right click advanced choose sign amplitude is 5 volts and frequency is 1k the resistor value right click 10k the diode type is a silicon 1N4148 right click on diode pick new diode choose 1N4148 right click 3 volts DC ok we draw the circuit now in order to simulate this circuit we need to choose the simulation time press on simulate edit simulation cmd choose the time in order to choose the period we should divide our frequency using this equation period equal 1 over f frequency is 1k so the period is one millisecond for one cycle one millisecond run so as seen here the V out is between the anode and the ground. So we need to measure the voltage across this node. Press on the first node and hold, then add another probe. Okay. Uh, as seen in the theoretical video uh, the signal is clipped from the top we can see here that for an input of sine wave for input sine wave we see that the output is a clipped version of a sine wave due to diode and battery let's see here for the positive half cycle the sine wave is clipped when V is approximately equal 3.5 volts 3.5 volts applying a KVL we know that 3 is taken from the battery and the 0 0.5 volt is the VD on that the diode needs in order to conduct 3.5 volts okay uh, regarding the current 
as we see here the diode is conducting in this region between 0 0.1 millisecond and 0 0.4 millisecond so the current should be flowing between these two times is is approximately 150 microamps as we can see here the axis is on the right side the current is approximately 150 microamps between approximately 0 0.1 millisecond and 0 0.4 millisecond while in the other time the diode will be open circuit so the current flowing in the circuit will be zero